Hello and welcome to another episode of That Nose Ring Looks Cool. Oh wait, no, it's horribly infected. I had a dream of eating every pickle I could find in London around me in four stores. I went slightly insane as lockdown eased and to get through it I watched every single episode of Pro Zed's videos where he eats different types of food. You know, every type of Lunchable, every type of Oreo and I thought Let's give it a go. I can't swear, it's the first 30 seconds. First of all though, we need to get all of the pickles. So, I know we need to get rid of these as well. Let's, Let's go, go shopping. So first of all, we went to the supermarket chain, Huetros. Where are the pickles? This isn't a pickle. Two. I'm waiting for the aisle, just where I don't want to be weird. Cornichon. Do we get both of these? You've got to do a taste test. So One of you, so. okay, all right. Someone's walking past. <laughs> Gin pickled gherkins. <laughs> this is how the other half live. Fresh pickles with garlic and dill. Notice the size and the very reasonable pricing. Let's get the <laughs> fuck out of here. I'm terrified about how much this is going to cost. Oops. Please wait. Please wait. I'm glad we picked this beautiful background for me. So we bought seven jars of pickles and it came to £19.10. That's about six cucumbers. Maybe I should go back in and complain. And so here are the fruits of our labour from Waitrose. We then went further into town and went to a supermarket chain called Morrison's. Nailed it. Uh, play, play the clip. So here we are at Morrison's. So here we are at Morrison's. <laughs> there's no sign to show you, but there's a customer lift. We're at Morrison's, it's fine. Morrison's is one of the cheaper places you can buy food. So let's see what the price difference will be. You can turn the camera off. Now. See? How are you feeling? Fucking tense. I don't deal well with uh, speaking in front of people. I'm just gonna pretend that they're not there. I can't see anything anyway. <laughs> Gherkins. <laughs> Delicious brine. These are these are technically different. One's in dill. The other, they both, but they both have a unique taste. <laughs> Welcome to this dingy alley. Let's look at the receipt. Seven jars of pickles. £9.70. Now you know where to go to get more pickles for your money. And here, ladies and gentlemen, is our plentiful bounty. We then went to another supermarket chain, M&S, but we went to McDonald's first. Okay, okay now we're going to try something a bit different, and I don't know if this is going to work, but let's see what happens. Alright, where's the... Alright, here we go. Big Mac. And after being interviewed by three separate members of staff, I was awarded this. Well, we only need one, so what we're gonna do... The scene where you were like, five stars, that might have had this in. We then went to another supermarket chain called M&S, which is another slightly posh supermarket chain. I didn't pick these, these are just what I hear. I'm not posh. I'm not. <laughs> Things to bother you never bother me. I feel happy and fine. Ha ha. And now we just need some pickles. <laughs> In the toi. Yeah? We're only buying pickles, I swear. Now there was one more place I wanted to go. Up the road from me, there's a polar shop that I hear has lots of different pickles. So we went there to go and get them. Look at these ones, because these look a bit different. And how about this? We were then promptly asked to stop filming, so the rest of this is blank. Either way, here are the four that we ended up buying before we were forcefully removed from the premises. And oh boy, do they look a lot greyer than the other ones we bought. Overall then, if we take all this and all the stuff we've bought earlier, that adds up to... But first, we need to produce one more type of pickle. You can get rid of these again now. <laughs> I'm gonna help this time. Hey there guys, and welcome back to Up Is Not Babish. So you see we have a cucumber here, gonna inspect it, maybe give it a little flip. Oops, sorry you had to see that. Maybe I better walk off, try that again. So the first thing we have to do is remove this protective sheath 
everything. Yeah, there you go. Execute a perfect flip first time and you can't prove otherwise. First up, some classic dill pickles, which starts with a brine made from equal parts water and plain white vinegar. Uh... To which we are going to add 25 grams of kosher salt. 25 grams of sugar, that's like a teaspoon of sugar. And 100 grams of plain white sugar. Wait, what? I got several emails about my cooking video of people really fucking angry at me. It's not my fault. Once you've got those all added together, deploy your tiny whisk. I think what we're going to do is we're going to boil it and pour it over the pickles. Quarter them. And then we just pop them in. Boiling the vinegar. So while that's boiling, we're going to add the fixins, as Babish says, so we need some garlic. What is, it, what is it with my videos and rotten garlic? And that will give the uh, pickles uh, the flavour of garlic. Two or three dried bay leaves. We don't have any bay leaves. All spice berries, mustard seeds, a few whole cloves, one... We actually have a whole mold wine section of our cupboard. Is this on? Is the... No, it's not on. Healthy handful of whole peppercorns. Two or three daring dashes of red pepper flake. Why don't people do this? And pickle. Oh shit, I mean it looks really nice. I mean it's leaking everywhere. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, we can eat the pickles. So what we're going to do now is we're going to eat each pickle one at a time and we're going to rate them on a scale of F all the way up to A and then we have S tier for the super amazing pickles. And so the first pickle is going to be... These are all the waitress ones which we're starting with and then we're going to do... I'll tell you when it's not. So this is a mustard seed and spirit vinegar cornichon with onions. So I was quite worried at the beginning of this that I was going to have too much to eat, but look at that. So maybe no vinegar stomach aches. Crunchy. These are all going to be quite warm. I like a cold pickle, but that's okay. Pleasant flavour, no strange aftertastes. I give that an A. We're going to need to add the sound from the, the first one to all of the openings. There's no sweetness. It's all sour and vinegar notes as opposed to like a nice crispy, it's not, it's not as crunchy either. So for that, we're gonna go with C. Why am I doing this? So these are kind of like the standard, standard. This is the average corner shot that you could get at Waitrose. Jiggle, I like that. Can't quite, can't quite see the jiggle there. See, they've got a sweeter flavor. Oh god, I'm going to be terrible at this. <laughs> Vinegar. Sugar. So, these so somehow are sweeter but worse than the previous ones because they just have a quite an unpleasant flavour. I want to eat another one but I don't want to die because this is a quite the... Now, one more, go on then. <laughs> no, Matt, that's an onion. It's got like a quite a, a more muddy flavour. <laughs> it's not like I'm eating fucking mud, let's calm down. But there's like a... Ooh, excuse me. Okay, that's I'm going to give a D. It's not horrible. It's only a light muddy flavour, but you know, it could do without it. So these are the ones that led to the price, I think, being quite elevated. Oh yeah! 2% gin. So not really pushing the boat out, but you know. Oh no, no. Ah. <coughs> it tastes a bit like if pink lemonade was mixed with vinegar. I mean, I can't eat it. It seems to be great. You know what, actually, it's pretty good. <laughs> I think the problem is these are all in the sun. I think if these were cold, a bee. Let's put them in the freezer. While those cool down... Look, only some of these have been in my mouth, all right? Notably, this has not been in my mouth. You just sell these. Like a brunch, you know, put the wine and the cheeses out. McDonald's pickle. Ah. Oh. Sweet, crunchy, and the pickles are good too. <laughs> but they're not as good as the McDonald's ones. Hey, here, because I've had these before. They aren't. They aren't blowing me away. Open test. 
like fucking god sneezing. So these are the same as the ones I just had. Okay, are these whole better than sliced? I would always go for buying whole pickles, but oh yeah, oh yeah. Much saltier, but still sweet. I'm not good at this. Do these are it? These are the yes. These are the yes here. Mm. I think that the flavouring is different than the sliced ones. Two grams of sugar in the whole pickles. Seven grams of sugar in the spears. Mm. So these, I'd say, have no more than maybe three pickles in that have been sliced up thin. It's a very small jar. Four pounds fifty. Here comes Waitrose. Leaked everywhere in the bag. Bad start, but... As my fabulous camerawoman pointed out, these are the only fresh ones we've had so far, so that's probably why they're more expensive. They're not, like, sealed. Ooh! These have got quite a distinct like aniseed flavour to them. I think caraway might be what I'm thinking of. I have no fucking idea. S tier. <laughs> All this vinegar sure works up an appetite. That finishes Waitrose. They're reasonably high scores. Soft. Mushy. Delicious. They taste great, but the texture's off. Let's just get, let's get over there. Get to the bottom. Right. This is cold, it's at the bottom and it's um, warmed up from the sun. Hey. There is a thing that I'm aware of, that the tops of pickles can be a bit softer than the bottom. If you eat the first few top ones, they get better, and these are actually really good. Mm. I, didn't, I didn't account for this happening. <laughs> Freezing this was a mistake. <laughs> yeah. Not as nice as the crinkle cut, these are less sweet. But it kind of has that muddy taste that I was talking about earlier, where it's like the flavours are kind of non defined. C. C. B. There's no room in the fridge. Ah, <laughs> oh, these don't look nice. They're, they're very grey. There you go. Let's just go with this one. Definitely a pickle. Incredibly salty, which may explain why it's a bit more murky. I think if you had it in a sandwich, maybe an A, even an S, if it was in the right like, situation, but right now it's too salty. You know, B. So I remember saying that this was quite salty. 1.5 grams of salt, and this has got 2.5 grams of salt per 100 grams. So we've learned something today. <laughs> so following that one, which was super salty, we have another cracker. Very big. This is very I'd show that pickle a good time. But what's the flavour? Juicy, crunchy, and we're gonna get. I'm gonna give this a B. So these are pre cut. I always thought that was a bit weird. Cut your own fucking pickles. Crunch. Sweet. A. These are from Turkey. <laughs> you redeemed yourself, Turkey. These are very long. No real strong sh sugar or salt flavor, mostly sour. There's no other real spices that I can uh, determine. Or caraway. <laughs> I'm getting very sweaty. D. Wouldn't want to eat it. I wouldn't. Someone hands me one of these, wouldn't eat it. I'd eat it, but I wouldn't enjoy it. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna level with you. I'm not feeling very well. <laughs> oh, please, I can't do this. Very strong flavour of garlic and very salty. I actually really like it. I wouldn't eat more than one of these, but that might be because I feel really sick. I wouldn't say it was delicious, I'd say it was really nice. So we're gonna go with B. I just don't want to eat anymore. I'm running out of SD card space, so we need to keep moving. These are pickles that have been sliced thinly. These are cornichons, and these are fully sized gherkins. So we've got our little crinkle cut burger. Very tasty. I would actually probably eat all of these. Even now. Let's go with S. No, A. No, this is, Let's go with A. Not completely by the way. Really nice. I think this will probably be a bit bitterer. Bitter, bitterer. Still very tasty. I don't really like cornichons. I always feel they're a bit drier because there's a lot less flesh. So I'd say B. Bigger. Very crunchy. Isn't that crunch? But still too small. So they still don't have a nice juiciness. So I'd say 
ABB. I'm so sweaty. So the remaining four of these pickles were all bought from the polo shop up the road to me. Let's see how they fare. So as you can see, these have got a very grey liquid consistency. Not very appetising to a man who's already eaten 18 pickles or however many I've eaten. <laughs> F. Next. The jar is sticking out more than the lid. You can't grab it because you're just grabbing the glass ring that goes around it. There you go. I really don't want to eat these. Look at this. Oh my god. F, obviously. <laughs> so these are dill cucumbers with paprika. Woo! See, this is the size I like. It's better. Nice crunch. I lived in the Czech Republic for a while. Where the fuck's he going with this? I don't like this because it has a very distinct flavour that I'm not used to eating. It's very bitter. D. So these are sliced, and sliced pickles have done very well against my palate. Uh, there's a carrot, very soft. These are the most dill pickle I've had so far, and I'm not really feeling it. I honestly think that I just can't eat any more pickles, because this is quite nice, but I still want to give it an F. So let's bump it up a bit. I'm going to go, I think, C. Does it pass the open test? Smell this. Deep breath. Come on, deep, deep, deep. I can't eat this. I can't. It tastes of, of just poison. And I feel like if I was in a mood to be challenged, all over this, I'd eat one and be like, ah, what an interesting flavor. But not today. Get these the fuck away from me. <laughs> Speaking of getting challenged. They should pop off. That's not a good sign. <laughs> so here are the ones we made earlier. So, I mean, they look pretty good. Look at that. <laughs> it... <laughs> I'm tasting every flavor that's in there, individually, with no blending. Remember that scene from Ratatouille? So what have we learned? I don't think we really learned anything here today. I feel really sad. So here's the final scoreboard of each place. As you can see, as the day went on, the scores got worse. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, so it's been about 10 days since filming that video. The fridge is full of pickles and every time I open it, I fucking wince. So I've ruined pickles for me forever. But you've all been asking me for more cooking videos, so stick around as one's about to start, thanks to today's sponsor, HelloFresh. HelloFresh is a food delivery service that makes cooking at home easy, affordable, and enjoyable. They deliver the ingredients, you cook the food, you eat the food, it passes through your digestive system providing energy and nutrients. You see, HelloFresh's recipes are delicious because every box is packed with fresh produce sourced directly from farmers. So if you want meals that include meat and fish, are low calorie, or are just quick and easy to make, you can easily get whatever suits you best. And so today we're making a red lentil and spinach dal. HelloFresh also saves you time and reduces stress because you don't have to keep planning and prepping all your meals all of the time. I love to cook. I do, I'm good at it, shut up! <laughs> but I'm always too busy writing or editing to go out and buy ingredients. But now that I use HelloFresh, everything is here and ready to go. And I can get dinner made in about 30 minutes. 20 minutes if I use their quick cook options. And there we have it. Food. That's the Scottish for food. I make a lot of curries. I do, it's the truth, and this is easily one of the best I made. And before I go, it's important to note that HelloFresh can also help you eat more sustainably too. Because I use HelloFresh, there's always good food in the house, which means I now get fewer takeaways. So not only does that mean I'm saving money, it also means uh, a lot less takeaway vans over here, am I right? <laughs> so to get fresh ingredients delivered right to your door, go to HelloFresh.com and use code UPISNOTJUMP14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com and code UPISNOTJUMP14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping. And thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Ah, sorry Sid. <laughs>